Yo, what is up guys, Rocket here and welcome back to yet another video. Today I will be showing off my new scuff controller that I just got in preparation for World War II. It will be done in a few hours and it, I will be ready to play, record, and upload on that game. So yeah, let's unbox this baby. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Before we get into that, um, I was supposed to go to a... Um, tournament this weekend for uh, this game called Brawlhalla, y'all saw the video, but um, I may have had a little accident, just maybe, I um, hurt my elbow and now they get me in a little cast, but it's okay, but I won't be able to go to a tournament, but I will be able to play some of this game, but I have to be careful, so let's look at it. Oh, look at that beauty. I got it red. I like the little thing it's got for the um, microphone jack. It's got uh, black buttons, long concave, um, analog sticks. It doesn't, I don't have it where it says anything. It's just blank, red with black buttons. It's got a, uh, it says scuff around the perimeter of the um, analog sticks. It has scuff symbol on the analog stick, scuff symbol for the button. And it looks cool. Now, if we flip it over, we can just look at it. Oh crap! As y'all can see, I got the grip on the back. Almost looks like splatter effects. It's really cool. Got these paddles back here that allows me to um, have them synced to these four buttons right here. So I can keep my fingers on analog sticks when I play Call of Duty. And yeah, it's got this little thing to keep your um, charging cable from uh, being like yanked out and stuff and breaking. And yeah, I got the little black L2, R2 and all. Got it. I haven't got the uh, stoppers on it, but I haven't activated those yet. So I'm going to show you all basically what you do to do stuff like that. So let's get right to it. Okay guys, now we're going long ways, so if the camera's going to look kind of weird, but while well, the screen, so as I can see, I got my controller here. Now, for uh, cool stuff you can do is um, you can make it where the triggers are a little better, as y'all can see, if it'll focus. Well, there's this little thing that's supposed to stop it. Now. To do that, we have to use this thing. Now what this is, is it's a little needle used for remapping stuff. So let's look at it. So what you do, you take this, sorry if y'all hear Henry in the background, take this and you put it into the... I'm doing something. Do you need someone? Okay. What you do, you take this, put it in the hole right here, and hold on. If I, and this thing's being difficult. Okay. Prepare it. Just twist that. Let me get downwards. Huh? Okay. So now, hold on, make it even, okay, let's right, see, it stops higher, do that with both of them real quick, the needle will go in, okay, now if I can just take it, oh, there we go, yes. So now, let them go down. So it's basically like your own little um, quick fire mod, but not modded and legal. Okay. Now another cool thing it comes with are these. These are your trigger buttons. So what you want to do, very gently, take these off, wiggle them off some, 
don't let them break and you just take those off and then make sure you get your correct L2 and R2 lock them on so now you can put two fingers on there and tap real quick I prefer to but you know I like my one so go take those off now while they're off dropped it while they're off as y'all can see there's holes on them what you want to do stick needle in these holes if you need to Alright guys, give me a sec. We gotta do this off camera. Okay. So get in, twist. This will make this will adjust the fine tuning of the right and left trigger. So you will adjust that depending on how you like. Let's see. Let's try going this way. See what that does. Yeah, so now you can see. Yeah, they do pretty good. So I like mine like that. And I also prefer the shorter things. So if I lock those back in place. Okay, this thing's being a little jerk. Like those, like a place. Okay, that's all good. Now another cool thing. Got yeah, this thing. Now if you order different scuff things, like, say you get a. Okay. Okay, if you order many scuff things, say you get a new analog stick. What you want to do, see these little holes here? Here. You line these up to those and just twist. Now, give me a sec and I'll do this off camera to show you. Now, what you'll, now what you'll see this do is you put it on and keep twisting. And then when you think you. When you've done it enough, you pop this little thing off. And then you can pop off this. And depending on uh, if you have different ones, like if you wanted it rounded or concave, like the one I have, short, long, you just pop them back on like that. Right there, I mean, right there. And you just kind of line the hole in here with the rod in there. Then you push hard. If I can get it back on. Okay, I'm just bad at this. Hold on. Okay, let me. There we go. So now it's back on there, as you can see. Now what you'll do? And I hold on. I drop the uh, the ring or the ring up. Oh, found it. You just place it back on there. It'll fit in. Take your little thing. Line up. Jesus. And you just tighten it. Now it's all good. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you like my new controller, hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe down there to my channel. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.